Claire back from the college farm and this time we're going to be talking about renewable energy. Renewable energy is energy that's collected from renewable resources such as sunlight and wind and that'll be naturally replenished. Like you're never going to run out of sunlight and you're never going to run out of wind. Specifically on the farm one type of renewable energy that we have is biogas. Today we're going to be having Matt and Danielle from the farm explain biogas and how it's used to you guys. So stay tuned. Hi gang, I'm Farmer Matt. I'm here at Dickinson College Farm. I'm going to talk to you today with Danielle about biogas. So biogas, biogas is a burnable gas that we make from decomposed organic materials. This could be uh, any kind of waste from your farm or from your household. Uh, and common waste that we use are cow manure. That's kind of funny, huh? It's like cow poop and food waste. Biogas is made through a process called anaerobic digestion. Can everybody say anaerobic digestion? That's a big word. So we say anaerobic because there's an, an absence of oxygen. We're not going to let any air into our uh, machine to make biogas. We're going to use water and these other materials and bacteria to convert these things into biogas. And digestion because we start with complicated stuff like food waste and manure and we end up with like a nice rich uh, organic slurry. We have a container of some kind that we can seal up and we're going to have a pipe going into that container with an opening on it. Uh, and here's the rest of our container. And we've got another pipe coming out of the container at the other end. Just like that. And there's one more pipe, and that's to let our gas out. So we're going to have a little pipe here, and maybe a curly Q, and our gas comes out of there. Okay, so what we do is we mix up our cow manure and our food waste with water. We want to make it like a uh, kind of a thin soup or like a, a, a stew consistency, so pretty thin so it'll flow through the container. We're going to pour that material into here. So we've got a bucket with our food waste and poop in there. We're going to pour it in here and with, this thing is already full of water. Like that. So there's water and waste all mixed together in here and when you have the water and the waste all mixed together and you have cow manure which is full of good microbes uh, the microbes actually start to eat the waste and because it's a oxygen free environment or anaerobic uh, they will make a special thing called biogas and so you guys have probably uh, opened a soda bottle or seen your parents open a soda bottle before you know when a soda bottle is on a shelf it just looks like liquid maybe it's brown if it's coke what have you when you open the top of the bottle, uh, all of a sudden bubbles come out of the, the liquid. And that's the, the fizz that you feel when you drink a soda. That's kind of like what happens here. So there's uh, material in the water. And as the microbes eat the waste, they actually bubble up little tiny bubbles of gas. And so as those gas bubbles rise to the top, they come out and they form our gas layer. And this is that biogas. So. When we add some stuff over here, say we add a, a five gallon bucket full, then some more stuff is gonna come out this way. And this is called effluent. The effluent is a broken down version of what we put in. So we started with manure and food waste. What coming out here is the effluent. This effluent is a good plant fertilizer. So we can put this on our crops and help them grow, or here at the farm we actually put it in our compost piles to make our compost piles more rich. And the gas, is collected in some kind of a storage container. As you'll see here in a minute, we have storage bags to collect the gas, and then we can burn it. Biogas is made up of carbon dioxide and methane. And methane is burnable. So methane is like uh, the same material that makes up natural gas. If anybody has a gas stove at home, uh, or a gas furnace if you live in town, uh, the stuff that makes that gas burn is called methane. And methane is made by decomposing organic materials. Uh, in the case of natural gas, it actually was uh, decomposed organic materials from a long, long time ago. So eons ago, uh, plant material, dinosaurs, other stuff like that, 
got buried underground, uh, and it rotted to become either coal uh, or oil or natural gas. Um, in the case of our biogas system, we're doing that up here on the surface of the earth, which is uh, even better. And the reason being, when we burn natural gas, it contributes to climate change. Let's think about the planet. What planet are you on? I'm on planet Earth. Uh, underneath the ground on planet Earth, there are deposits of these wonderful things we call fossil fuels. So they could be oil, uh, coal, and then natural gas. There's big pockets of natural gas underground. Here in Pennsylvania, we've got lots of natural gas. Okay, so if we bring those up to the surface of the earth and burn them with a fire, oh boy, there's my fire diagram. Uh, they make some smoke, and when they do that, that stuff goes up into the air. Okay, you guys have all seen smoke going up in the air. Well, we have this atmospheric carbon layer now, which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Okay, so when we burn materials, the carbon goes up in the sky, and it's up there in the sky. There's carbon dioxide, there's methane, there's other stuff up there. And that creates uh, this nice warm planet that we live on. Okay, so uh, a little bit of that is good because we want to be warmer than, say, space or the moon. Uh, but too much carbon in the atmosphere is gradually making our planet warmer. And you guys have probably heard a little bit about climate change uh, causing some problems in the environment. Well, as we burn fossil fuels that are underneath the ground, we're gradually, over the past 100 years or so, increasing the carbon layer and creating global warming. When we burn biogas, if we burn uh, cow manure or food waste, uh, that's coming from plants that were already up on the surface. So this is a plant and that's a fire, different things, okay? So if we burn the biogas, we take a plant, we make biogas, and we burn it, uh, that's going to go, I guess it's going to go up into the sky, but the cool part about this is the plant to grow, it takes carbon from the sky. We're actually cycling carbon, atmospheric carbon to make plants. Uh, the plants make the cows, which make the manure, uh, or we make the food waste. And those things, when we burn them, they're going back up into the sky. This is called carbon cycling. So we can get energy to do things like cook our food engine or make electricity from plants and from cow manure. Uh, and if we do that, we are cycling carbon in the atmosphere rather than taking old carbon that was buried a long time ago and putting it up in the atmosphere. So that's why they call a biogas system carbon neutral energy. And that's really the future where we need to go to uh, help be a part of reducing climate change. All right, thanks for paying attention. Now we're gonna move on to the uh, physical demonstration. Here's a smaller version of a digester, which is what we have a big one in there that's producing a lot of our cooking gases. So today I'm gonna feed it. So all the archaea that Matt talks about are inside there. I'm gonna give them some food waste. This is from, actually from making beer. Um, this is the grain that they don't need anymore. Uh, so I'll be adding that today with a bunch of water and our, our star of the show, some manure. So take a little bit of manure. This is from the dairy cows next door. They very kindly contributed it. So I'll put that in the bucket as well. So now we got our mixture, and that's going to make the arcade very happy, and they're going to give us a lot of gas. So when I add this, it's going to displace. You can see this is the line where there's already water and food and uh, the archaea in there that are making the gas. So when I add this, this new food in, it's going to go in the bottom, and it's going to push all the effluent, the, the uh, waste product, out that tube and into there. So we'll be able to see it move through. So now I'm going to add. Carefully. And there it's coming out. Okay, so now what we'll expect is once the RK are fed and happy, we'll start filling the gas up into this tube. So we can already see there's some gas in there when I press it down. It looks a little like the deflated tube you might bring to the pool, but there's actually some good biogas in there that we can use to cook some food. So that's how this little digester works. And next I'll be showing how to feed the big digester. This is 
is the big digester, uh, what will feed the big digester. So we're going to put our manure and our food waste into this big, t this big tub. We're going to fill it up with water and then we're going to use that to put into the big digester that you'll see later. So here's the same thing, same thing that I did to the other one but on a much larger scale. So this is the grain. So that's a bunch of water and some leftover manure and some grain. And now I'm going to start spraying out the manure. What we're doing here is we have this grate because the manure gets mixed with some long grass and we don't want those getting stuck in our tubes. So that's why we put it on top of this grate and use the water to spray it out. This is a fun job. That's the general idea of spraying out the manure. You can see it's starting to spread out and go into the tub. So we'll be looking at how to actually send this into the digester so it can feed the archaea in there and start giving us gas. Finally, we have all of our ingredients in here. We have the food waste that I showed you. We have the manure from our cows right next door. And we have a bunch of water. And this is what it looks like all filled up. We've also added some cooking oil. So that the, uh, the archaea actually really like to eat and that really helps with gas production. You can see it floating on top right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this all together with a giant witch's brew. Okay. So now let's add it to the digester. So this is our digester. Everything that we have in there is going to be pumped right in and through right down here. So I'm going to open this up. Now we can see it going down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it as it goes down. And I'll spray it out a bit. Okay, now it's all fed and happy. So, it's like with our small digester, we had the stuff coming out the other side. This is what's happening with this digester. All of that being pumped in that tank is the effluent. That's the waste product. It's exactly what we saw with the smaller digester, where what we were feeding the digester pushed all of this out the other side. So this we can use to fertilize crops. We can put it in our compost. It's very nutrient rich, so plants really like it and can grow really well if we feed this to them. So now let's take a look at how to mix the digester. We've added a whole bunch of new things to it. We can mix it up to make sure it's all nice and mixed and happy. So the way we do this is we make sure there's nothing sharp on our boots and we just pulse it with our foot. This kind of sloshes it all up, makes everything nice and mixed together. I'll move down the digester and do this a couple times. And I'll do that all the way down the digester. So to see where our gas is actually coming out, you can imagine when you have a big pot of water that's boiling, all the bubbles go to the top. The same thing happens with this gas. So we have these at the top. This tube, is the gas is going to come out the very top of the digester, go through this tube, and then if you follow these tubes, it'll go into our gas bags. So these tubes are leading from the digester, and that will carry the gas into the gas bags, and then we can use that to cook with. So that is how the gas goes from the digester to our bags. We're out here again to show you the end of, of the biogas process. Uh, we're going to do some cooking over biogas. So I've got my biogas bag full of gas. That's great. I've got a little pump to move the gas to the stove. And I've got my old uh, Chinese biogas stove. So I'm going to flip this on. Flip fire. I don't know how well you can see that fire, but it's hot. Okay, got our pot. Time to cook. A little bit of popcorn. Everybody like popcorn? All right. Perfect. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. We call it poop corn. But it doesn't taste like food, it tastes like popcorn. Whee! 
So just to wrap up here, we're making biogas energy from waste. So we take waste products and make useful energy. That's pretty cool. You can do this too someday. So the one thing I do want to mention is danger, right? Methane gas is flammable. Uh, so we do want to be pretty careful as we do this. Uh, don't try this at home without adult supervision. But otherwise, it's a lot of fun to make biogas from our own waste products. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something about biogas. Thank you so much to Matt and Danielle for helping me out with this video. To recap, biogas is a type of biofuel that is naturally produced from the decomposition of organic material. So here on the farm, we mainly use cow manure and food waste. And then that is what creates a gas, which then we can use to cook with. And as Matt showed us, that's how he made popcorn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.